Welcome to another My Two Good Hands video. We are in the basement today working on a project. Uh, let's show you what this project is. This project is this little birdhouse here. Uh, we mocked one up in some cardboard here. Uh, basically, what kind of birdhouse is this? Well, that's what's interesting. Some birds will not go in birdhouses. You know, they won't go through the hole and live inside. They like it open like this. Some of those are robins and uh, morning doves. They like to have a place like this. So this is going to give them some side shelter. A lip in the front for some shelter and a roof for some shelter from the rain they like that if you find you have a house where you have a porch or something maybe you've found where they find a ledge under that porch and do it this we can mount outside we'll put a couple mounting holes but what we're going to do is we're going to lay it out and show you how we did it first thing we did was we made patterns for everything now do keep in mind when we made these patterns we based it on six inch wood, but we bought you buy six inch wood. It comes at five and three quarter or five and a half. So I think it's at five and a half. And we're going to go check it out. Uh, but all the lengths will be right. The other thing is we made one pattern for the roof. So if you may remember the roof is like this. So one of these will be three quarters of an inch shorter than this one. Uh, we did make the side. We'll need two of those. We got our router set up. You need a tape measure, a square, something to write with. You're going to nail them together. Get yourself the galvanized nails, okay, so they don't rust. So let's get started and get the wooden work on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our back. Now, when you get the wood, the edge is going to be really rough and crummy. So we're going to put a mark here so we can uh, do our back. And then we're going to put a mark up here. That's our back. Using our square, come in and... Uh, Draw some lines that we're going to cut it off at. That's one. The other one is going to be here. One thing you'll notice is we want these little corners cut off. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to measure this. And what we did was we made that an inch and a half. So we're going to come out here to inch and a half make a mark and we're going to come back the other way an yeah, inch and a half make a mark so we got two marks at inch and a half uh then we're just going to come in with this which we can uh, put on here like this and a little length on this so we can come in here and uh, put this like this draw it like that i'm in here with this one uh, and uh, do the same thing here. Uh, the easy way to do this is put it this way. And then there's our back, so we'll cut that with a saw. Uh, the next big piece we have is the bottom, and we're just going to line that up to there. The edge, we'll leave a little bit for the saw, put another mark here. Um, we'll continue down here and uh, make this one a cutout. So here we have uh, the cutoff for the bottom. Now for the roof again, we've got to be careful. Because for the roof, we're going to take one and put it on here. Cut that the wrong way. It goes this way. We're going to put one on here like this. I'm going to make a mark. And we're going to draw that one across for the, for the roof. Now we know the next one's going to be the same, so we're going to put it on here, put it down. The issue here is we have to be back three quarters, so we're going to take this, we're going to measure back three quarters of an inch, because that's the thickness of the wood here. And we're going to take and make another line here. We've got this piece, which we want to have, and we're going to put it on there like this. And we're going to come in here, we're going to make a mark here, we're going to make a mark here. We're going to take our straight edge, put it across here, and make our line. Then we're going to note that we can turn this the other way like this. We'll leave it a little bit of room, make another mark. And we'll come in here like this and another line. You can see we're getting it all laid out here. We got the piece for the front. We're going to come up here and we're going to uh, mark it here. 
and we're going to mark it here. Now this one goes all the way across. The other one, I believe, is about two inches. Yes, it's about two inches. So we'll come down here, we'll make a mark at two inches, make another mark at two inches here. We'll be able to get two out of here, so we'll come this way at two inches, and this way at two inches. And then we can come in here with a straight edge and make a couple lines here. So there you go. So if you look at this, you have two fronts, you only need one, but that's for your second house. The right and the left side, short roof, long roof, base, and back. All the way down here. Set that up, good to go. Dust collection on, and we'll start cutting on this. That part's finished, that's the base. Part of the roof, we're gonna router the edges. And when we get to this cut, this is the angular one, we want to turn our saw to be close to that angle. A little bit more there. That's pretty close. Looks like we are at uh, 26 degrees. Got one piece. That's our front piece. We're now done with this saw. We're going to make some of these smaller cuts. We'll show you those and then we're going to get the router set up. So to make the long cuts on here, we're going to put this in the band saw. So again, that's you mine. We generated two of these, so we got to remember on the next one not to make another one. You do have a little scrap piece if you want. I don't know what you do with it. Another way, if you don't have a bandsaw to cut things, we'll cut these two to show you, is you can use a uh, little scroll saw. So we're gonna take the little scroll saw and we're just gonna push this in there like this. You can see on a scroll saw, the long wood will make it very slow. And 
the nice thing is you get a really nice smooth cut off of that versus the bandsaw. This will hit, so we're just going to shut this off, go back to our bandsaw and make the other cut. But that's just to show you another way to do it. Next thing we want to do is router some of these edges to make them rounded over. Got this little set off of Amazon. Uh, one of the bits in here is a round over bit like this. And we are going to uh, use that. Don't forget, use the links in Amazon, help you shop and uh, help support this channel. Even if you don't buy this item and you buy anything else for at home, it'll help support the channel. We do appreciate that. Router table setup. We needed it up a little high to fit over the scroll saw. So we put these two by fours. We did screw them to the bench and screw it to here so everything's solid. That'll help us a lot. So we're going to get this bit, take this off, and uh, the bit actually will fit down in here like this. So we're hoping it fits in there. Yeah, there we go. Now we're going to have to go tighten this up and uh, adjust the height and everything. But we'll bring you back in a minute when we do on that. We should be able to come in here with our wrench and tighten this. Uh, first, we'll turn it with our fingers. There's a latch that stops the... Uh, whole thing from turning so you can tighten this. Ah, the latch is attached all the way. There we go. Now we're latched. I think it was pretty tight. All right, make sure you open the latch, turn it all the way. I want to get some adjustments made here. I get this adjustment made. There's a thumb screw in there somewhere. Best way to do this, you can come right up here and see about where it hits, and we'll tighten the uh, thumb screw. There we go. Always want to make sure this turns freely before you plug it in and start it up. So we have our router set up, and what we want to do is we want to round over some of these parts, all right? So what you want to do is get your pencil out. Get your pencil out. If this is the front, like this, let's say this is the front, we want to, we want to route this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge. And then on the inside, just route this edge, this edge, and this edge, we don't want to route this bottom piece because that's the under piece, all right? So that's one way. Now these parts, we want to route this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge. Um, we're going to route this edge, and we're going to route this edge. So everything on this side, and only this one, and this one on the inside. This one will be the exact opposite. So we'll route this edge and this edge. And then on this side, on this side, we will route this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge. Uh, and we can mark this second one for the, uh, the edge where we're gonna route this edge, this edge, this edge, uh, this edge. And then on this side, we're only gonna route uh, this edge, this edge, and this edge. So we got those marked. Gets a little more tricky for the roof because the roof's gonna be like this. So you're gonna make your roof like this. So you're gonna route this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge. And then on this side, you're gonna route this edge, this edge, and this edge. And then this one, we're gonna route this edge, this edge, this edge, 
And on this side, you're only going to route this one, this one, and this one. Marking them like this will help you not mess it up. The router is quite noisy. So you won't be able to hear me. Uh, but you can see here, we did put some round over on there. You can kind of see how that looks. You can see how it is when it's not rounded over. Well, you can see how nice we rounded all that over. We're just going to go ahead and do the other pieces, and we'll bring you back. We're going to start gluing and nailing some of this together before we prepaint. Well, welcome back to the My Two Good Hands video on building the robin or the morning dove house. Uh, you can see what happened here. We got these all stained nice. Uh, we did some of them in gray. We did some of them in this hunter green. Uh, now what we're going to do is do the assembly of parts on here. So uh, we made them a little different for this one than the other one. So, but uh, we'll bring it down and we'll show you how. Okay. All right, so we've got this down. We've got our nail gun ready to go. Remember, some of these edges are sharp and some aren't. So this is the other side. Uh, this one goes on this side. We'll be lining it up right on the edges here. So what we're going to do, we're going to get out our glue. Cause we're going to put a little glue on here. Uh, this piece is also, uh, I'm going to call it uh, varnished. Put that right on the edge like this. And we're gonna come right in the corner. And we're gonna put one down here. Go. So now we're going to put this. Now we're going to put the second side on. So now we got both sides on. So that's good. Now the piece in the front, we're going to center it up and leave it just a little bit below. Just like this. Hold that in place.
There you go. Now that's what you've got. The next thing we'll do is get the top on. The way we're going to put the top on, we're going to be a little bit below the, uh, the nail hole here where we're going to mount it. So we're going to turn it this way on our table so we can get it with a clamp. Again, a little glue on here. We're going to bring this so it's right over the screw. Just like that. Just make sure you got enough for your screw head. And we're going to do this. And we're going to tip this up. This way we can take this and... Uh, Make sure it's pretty square. Once you get one on one side, come over and put one on the other side. Then you can take the clamp off. Make sure this is pushed in good. It is pushed in good. You can put another one over here. So here is your outdoor birdhouse for robins and uh, morning doves and those types of birds that don't go in holes in the birdhouses. So they got a nice spot here. They can sit out. They can build their nest. Little protection. It does have two mounting points so it won't swing on you. And that's what the birds like. So don't forget to track the birds you want in your yard. Don't forget to subscribe to My Two Good Hands. We'll catch you in the next video. All kinds of links down below to all the parts we used. Please use the links to ship. Amazon and help support the channel. Thank you.